Hello, everybody. We're here at, at the um, Cedar Park Farmer's Market here by Lake Line Mall. Uh, this is one of the largest uh, uh, farmer's markets that, we've, that I've been to. This is my second farmer's market that I've been to. And we're talking with J.D. and Isaiah here today. They are from Texas Hill Country Olive Company. And what they do is they, their company produces olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You've heard me talk about that when I'm cooking. Nothing like olive oil and they have olive trees olive farms here in southern or central texas um so i'm gonna have uh, isaiah talk about the flavored oils here um a little bit and see, see what he has to say go ahead tell, tell us about this one here yeah so these are our infused oils uh we've got the jalapeno crush lemon crush and garlic infused um these are when we're pressing the olives for oil we actually add whatever is inside of these oils to the press. So this is garlic infused. We put dry roasted garlic in it. The reason we do that is because if you're making a, an olive oil with like a minced garlic or something like that, it'll actually raise the acidity and it'll make it rancid faster. So this will uh, keep longer and it has like a stronger dry roasted garlic flavor. Uh, lemon crush, same thing. Just have the lemons crushed in there and the jalapeno. Uh, the lemon crush one's great because you can use it for like lighter meats, you know, um, fish, shrimp, chicken, pork, things like that. And you can also use it for baking. If you're making like a lemon bars or something like that, you can replace the butter. It'll cut like a third of the saturated fats and it'll add like a very, very strong uh, lemony flavor to it. Uh, the jalapeno one, this one's also great. Um, good for like marinating, uh, I guess good on eggs, things like that too. Um, it has a very strong jalapeno flavor and smell. It'll, it'll smell up a room for sure. Um, but you don't get a lot of the spice until the end of it. It uh, it's very like good, like fresh jalapeno flavors, right. which you're going to get out of that. Right. Yeah. It's a little back, uh, back burn on these oils. Now, uh, this is also an organic um, farm, okay? It's not like mass produced. It's, it's organic. Uh, and that's, that's where it's going, folks, is, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you're into organic food, Come to these far this farmer's market because this is the place to be here, folks. And now we're going to talk to, uh, to J.D. He's going to tell us about the, uh, about the unflavored oils. Uh, you know, um, those of you who like to cook with olive oil, I like to drink it. It's so good for you. It clears out your, uh, your veins. The older you get, the more you need help cleaning out your, your, uh, your arteries, folks. But here, um, I'll have uh, J.D. talk about the olive oils. Go ahead, J.D. So uh, we have three different kinds of uninfused olive oils here. Um, it's going to be uh, mild, medium, and robust. Um, and as you uh, have these, um, you're going to look at different uh, types of olives inside of each. So the mildest one is just Arbequina olives, very mild, a very buttery olive oil. Uh, so that's good for general cooking. Uh, slightly higher smoke point than the other two. Uh, so this is what I would um, um, offer to people if they're looking for something that's healthier and it's not going to add a lot of flavor to where you're cooking. When you go up to here, uh, these two are more finishing oils. Uh, I do personally use them for cooking as well, but they're good for uh, finishing off pasta or eating with salads. But uh, when you look at the medium, it's Terra Verde. It's going to have Mission, Arbequina, and Pendolino olives. It's going to give it uh, a fruity flavor at first, a little bit of butterness in the middle, and it's going to end on a slightly peppery finish, uh, very nice peppery finish. Uh, when you move up to the most robust, the Texas blend, or the Miller blend, we also call it, it has Mission and Arbequina olives. Uh, this blend is going to give you a nice earthy and grassy flavor at first. Uh, butteriness in the middle like all the other ones. Uh, and it's going to end on a slightly peppery and nutty note. Like I said, uh, if you're looking for a salad or a finishing dressing, uh, these are very good for that. Um, and they're all, um, you know, all the olives that go into this are certified organic, um, which is very good. You know, like, like you said, that's where everything's going. Yeah. So. Thanks. Also, uh, you can order these online as well. But uh, I was just being—I was just told that if you come to the farmers market, they will. There, it's cheaper than if you were to go and order it online because they bring the product here. You come and park your car and walk over here and enjoy the day, and get yourself some um, some olive oil. Also, uh, something interesting is coming up. This um, when is the when is the harvest coming up? It's, uh, sometime towards the end of this month, early uh, December. So it's going to be the fresh, like freshest olives. We're going to press them do all that right so if uh they're they're having an olive harvest folks you ever see that you're missing a treat uh there's all there's the farm is located about what about an hour hour south west of here yep. in near dripping springs if you go to their website which is texas hill country olive olive you can find more information about that 
Uh, so anyway, for all of you people who are interested in food and eating, like all of us are, um, check these people out and get a hold of some of this olive oil.